Thank you for coming. We're here discussing redefining leadership for the future. The engineer and the architect have been central to human purpose and progress. And when the work of that architect or engineer is less effective than it could be, then we all pay a price. Leadership really starts with our personal lives. And when you start leading and modeling the changes that you're trying to tell clients or the world or your staff that you want to make, really beautiful things happen. You have to provide a structure that enables leadership development to take place. If you've got your people aligned and motivated, they realize that they matter, why they're important, and why what they do leads to success, you will not be able to control how successful your business is. Since 2014, when we started crunching statistics, we've had an 18-point increase of non-white ethnicities in the firm. In terms of ethnicity and gender, the firm representation has become increasingly important. People want to feel that they can succeed at Sasaki and that there's a place for them in the future as leaders within the firm. What we did in our office is we always addressed the projects in a way that if we thought it, there was a better way of doing it, we'd go out on a limb and do it, regardless of what it says here. And we do it the way we thought was real architecture and significant. For us, we have three focus areas as this nonprofit organization. First, on really thinking about research and experimentation. We also have a focus area that's about community learning and engagement. And then third, we have professional practice and growth. So because we're designers, of course, we're really focused on placemaking and the way that we think about space. To make a rich production, just like a rich organization, you need a discipline from all these different areas, an expertise that really spans you know, everything from HR, finance, and, and everybody's role is important. And if everybody's not playing um, at full speed and everyone's not communicating in the right way, your production's gonna fall flat. Most large organizations are seeking to change their organization with a different paradigm than what we've seen in the past. Organizational change isn't really possible. I think every person in this room can reinvent yourself and do things in a very different way than the way you are now. You define success, you figure out what that is, you have this path, you manage your risks, and you capture the opportunities. And if you integrate that with your strategic planning, I actually think your ability to be more diverse, your ability to promote and hire the right people, you can use it to be successful in sort of all of those areas. What are the things that your organization is facing over the next three to five years that are strategic important? Define what that is, and then based on that strategic opportunity, choose people who have a passion and interest and expertise in that. Leadership development, it's more about how you effectively engage with people to pull the best out of them to achieve extraordinary outcomes or results. Our identity will be redefined and most importantly, the leadership that oversees this new future will be redefined. This session of the Design Futures Council Leadership Summit on the Business of Design is officially adjourned. Thank you.